what we have built over a year. So I see Mayor Connolly. I remember going to a church basement in Madison, one of my first town hall meetings, and we went to a church basement. There were over 100 people there in the middle of July, and someone came up to me and they said, you know what, Mikey, that went pretty well because you know this is a Republican town. And they said, this is a Republican town. we got got 100 people in this basement. I said, you got Mayor Connolly? And they said, well, everyone likes Bob. <laughs> You got on board this campaign before you should have. I'm going to tell you, nobody thought it was winnable when you guys got on board, but thank you so much. I'm so glad you did. Um, I see so many faces, and I'm, I'm so proud to be here today. And i got to tell you, when I first started this campaign, that is true. I think a lot of people from outside the 11th District didn't think this seat was winnable. They thought it was going to be too hard. In fact, one of the first pieces of advice I got when I said that I was going to run for Congress in the 11th district of New Jersey was move to the 7th. <laughs> and I said, I'm not moving anywhere, right? Because this is where it's happening. This is where change is being made. And I could feel it because I knew that there were groups like MACTA here in Madison. There were groups like Chatham Moms for Change. There are groups like Chatham Moms here in Chatham. I'm mixing it all up. Sorry, guys. And I knew there's 2511 in Mount Lakes. And I knew NJ11 for Change was just about everywhere in our district. We were creating something here that was so special. And I'll tell you another story. When I got on, you know, I said I'm running for Congress, and, um, and I got my team together, and they said, all right, and I said, you know, something really special is happening here in the 11th District. And I started to get the impression that maybe a lot of people that work on campaigns hear that from candidates, right? And they go, yeah, I'm sure it is. That's great. <laughs> you know, good for you. Um, but I said, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to get you on the phone with some of the activists here in the 11th District. And I put them on the phone with people. And they started talking about how many people were meeting on Fridays without Freelinghuis and just to ask for a town hall meeting. They started talking about how many people they were engaging in their living rooms and, in the, and how, what they were talking about in the diners and over coffee. And something different was going on here. And you know what? The team got off the phone and they said, wow, we need a bigger staff. Something's going on in the 11th District of New Jersey. Right? I was bending down, so I thought I'd just grab this. Um, and then i got to say, if we ever doubted it, if we were wondering, is it just us? Is it just, is it just us? Are we the only ones that kind of think that this is happening? All we had to do was go to the march on the Morristown Green for women. And I have to tell you, over 15,000 people on the Morristown Green. And then we went to March for Our Lives, right? With a totally student-led march in Morristown, over 13,000 people. I had a cop come up to me and he said, Mikey, it's like Morristown's the new marching capital of the Jersey. And I said, yeah, it's a lot like that. <laughs> So I have to say, and then, if you're wondering, then I go to East Hanover. And there we have the Duns, who set up a town hall meeting, and it was incredible. It was amazing. I couldn't believe it. So we have been all over the district gathering people, gathering people to our side, talking about what we want for change, because we know what we want here. We know what we deserve here. We deserve a government that represents our values here in New Jersey, a government that's going to fight hard for women's rights and minority rights and gold star families and the Constitution of the United States. And then we want a government that's going to fight hard for what we need here in New Jersey, not just for today, but for the future, right? We need quality and affordable health care for every single person in this country. We need a tax plan that invests in the middle class. Our families deserve a good future here in New Jersey. And we need infrastructure spending. You guys all know what I say, right? We don't need a wall between the United States and Mexico. We just need a tunnel into Manhattan. <laughs> flip the 11th district of New Jersey 
Across the country, we're going to flip the House of Representatives, and we're going to provide a check on this chaotic and reckless presidency, and we are going to move forward with the things we need here in New Jersey, and we're going to lead the way for the rest of the country. So thank you all.